Just did a double album when rap double albums was starting. They bootlegged I am my album I put my heart in. Nipsey met me to do a doc about it before he departed. He talked to Stout about it too because he was part of that project. Yeah. Hey yo, ease. This comment has been taking place since I've been even putting content on this channel. Many people feel this way. It seems like a layup, right? It seems so simple. They need to formally release I am as intended. It'll be a special release collaboration by Sony and Master Pill. It makes the most sense. It makes so much sense. And if I were them, exclusively on vinyl or CD, don't even allow it to be streamed. The way it was intended early on. A box set or something, right? Make it feel as though, like, because people are connected to that, man. I want to see how it was supposed to play out. It's a no-brainer. I don't, like, how, how long are they going to wait for that? Was 20, oh, next April was 25 years? That's a no-brainer, man. I think everybody should go to their Twitter and just, just <laughs> go crazy. and add. It makes, they have to know that. At this particular moment, they have to know that. It just makes so much sense. And people, like I stated, as long as I've been uploading content on this page, people have been stating that. And we're just supporters. We don't even get paid for this. It just makes so much more. I don't get it. This is a great question. What makes you think people would appreciate that double album? Look how many good albums he released that gets fronted on. That's why I stated that I don't think the play should be for streaming numbers or or even put it on streaming sites. That should be a collector's item. CD or vinyl in a box set. And those who really want it, go to the website and cop it. And I guarantee you, because so many people love that album, those who really appreciate Because think about this. If you take away streaming, right, don't put it on YouTube, the majority of complainers won't even hear it. Because they don't buy nothing anyway. They don't cop nothing. They just sit around and complain. I don't like this. I don't like that. And the only reason you heard it because it's free. YouTube is like someone burning a CD 15 years ago. That, you may get a couple of pennies on a YouTube, I mean, on a on a stream off YouTube. But what I'm saying is that most people who co who listen on YouTube ain't going to cop your project. Not everyone, but most people won't. They won't. It's convenient. But the people who don't, who always complaining about something, don't like anything, they don't buy anything at all. They don't just be complaining about nothing. You know how hard it was? Like, you remember back in the day, and I hate to sound like the old dude, but no. You got $15, and you go cop a CD, and it's trash? The connection that you have to that to where, you know what? I spent $15. I'm about to play this again. I'm going to like something on it. I'm going to play it back and play it back and play it back and play it back. If you don't have to cop anything, you don't have to support anything. It's just there. Of course you're going to complain. Because you don't have no attachment to it. I'm rolling. I'm going to let that sit there. Y'all can read that on your own, man. I'm rolling with this. Hey, yo, E.